All right, Scoop Booters. Um, today I'm gonna show you uh, how to keep from losing your pastern strap locks and also show you a little bit about um, the shim. This is my horse and he wears a size three Scoop boot, which this is. I just gave him a little bit of a trim so he just has a little, just a little extra room in his boot than he normally would. Um, I'm gonna start off with the pastern strap locks. As you see, they're attached on the knob just as they should be, nice and snug and secure. And if I'm getting ready to take this boot off in order to prevent losing these locks, I am going to remove the lock, slide it up just slightly, take this pastern strap off, swing it around behind the foot and reattach it. That way, these locks will never have an opportunity to slide off this pastern strap. Now, imagine that I just put the boot on. I would have this pastern strap right behind his foot, just like this, put the boot on, and just do it in reverse. Take that strap off, swing it around to the front, reattach it, and then slide your pastern strap lock on and seat it in. The purpose of these, again, is to keep the pastern strap from pulling off in heavy brush. As an example, um, if you were to get a stick or a twig up under this pastern strap, it doesn't take much to pull that off. And so the hope is, with this lock, that it will keep that pastern strap from popping off. If I put this pastern strap lock back on, you can see it's more secure and it doesn't want to pop off of there. So it does have a purpose and they do work. Um, it's just a matter of um, each individual horse and the kind of conditions that you ride in. So, moving on to the shim. I've got the shim installed in this boot. When I open up the toe straps, you can see it right here in the front. This again is a size three boot, so it uh, needs a small shim. You can see these little tabs that are sticking out the bottom of this toe gap right here, and that's what keeps that shim in place. It's very thin. You can see I've got a nice um, gap, toe gap here. When I take this shim out, you'll be able to see that it's a little bit um, closer together, more close together than I like to see it. Not sure if I can get it out without taking the boot off. Actually, I can. So now when I reattach this toe straps, you can see that this space is less. And actually, when I squeeze this boot together, I can get it pretty darn close. So this, um, this shim is helping to make this boot a little bit more snug around the front because he just had a fresh trim. Now I don't know that I can get it in the boot with it still on. It's probably not gonna happen. What do you know? And when I put this back on, you can see the shim's back in place, and now it's nice and snug in the front, and I can't pinch this together and get these uh, toe gap closer together. So that's my little trick of the day. Um, shims are a great tool to have just in case you need them in the summer when your horse's feet shrink or after a fresh trim. Um, about halfway through the trim cycle, you can pop these shims out, and now you have a perfect fit on your boot again. If you guys have any other questions or need any more handy videos, uh, just post on the group page and I'll see what I can do. Have a great day and happy scooping.